My husband, 30M, and I, 29F, had bad argument and I'm staying at a hotel. My husband and I got into an argument today because he decided to clean the washer by dumping in a bunch of vinegar and bleach together. I didn't realize what he had done until I smelled something like chlorine. He told me what he put in. I panicked, set the washer to drain, and ran around the house opening windows. He then proceeds to roll his eyes and tell me that it's perfectly safe and not toxic and that I was being dramatic. I literally had to pull up Google and show him that vinegar plus bleach equals toxic fumes. He continued to roll his eyes, shrug it off and make me feel stupid for reacting the way I did. Then, he says, well if your dad didn't stink up our washer doing his laundry here, I wouldn't have even had to clean the washer. For context, my dad is disabled from a stroke, but is still able to live independently, and we help him out by doing his laundry at our house when he visits, that's something he's not able to do himself, and he doesn't have a washer, dryer in his apt. My hubby gets along with my dad and has never complained in any way related to him before. This was just such a weird, out of the blue thing for him to say. The gaslighting about the toxic fumes plus the insult towards my dad had me livid at this point. I did my best to explain why I was mad, and he kept saying things like, I don't care, and, it's not a big deal, I decided to pack a bag to stay at a hotel. He followed me into our room as I was packing and starts yelling and bringing up prior arguments from literally years ago. I ignored him and simply to him I'm not entertaining this behavior any longer. Right as I was walking out the door he just yelled, F you. So here I am staying at a hotel for the night. He hasn't texted or called to check on me at all. I sent my location to my sister for safety purposes since apparently he doesn't care. This is not how I expected this day to go. I was just reading comments on a different post and someone said they can't imagine their husband ever yelling at them. Is that the norm? I'm worried I've gotten used to a miserable marriage and I don't know what to do. We've been together 10 years. No, it is not normal to have a spouse who yells at you like this. Him almost killing both of you is a big deal, but him invalidating your feelings and getting mad at you is what's going to end your marriage. You need marriage counseling immediately or you're headed to divorce city. My partner doesn't yell at me. I don't yell at him. We get snarly, snappy, and short-tempered, but we don't call each other names. How long have you been married? He's done with you if he blew up on you like this. Prepare for a divorce. I'm 27 male. Not sure I believe my girlfriend, 27F, is being honest with me. I have been dating my girlfriend for a little over a year now and recently we have been talking fairly seriously about marriage. This has resulted in some difficult conversations surrounding lifestyle desires and finances. I live in a smaller town, own a house and am in a very good place financially with my current mortgage while she lives in a larger city and is currently renting. I'm a very simple person and don't need a whole lot materially to be happy. She grew up the daughter of wealthy parents and is accustomed to that lifestyle. During one of our recent conversations, she went on a bit of a selfish tear and essentially communicated that what I have to offer isn't good enough for her. She wants my current house sold in X amount of years, moved to a larger city, and doesn't seem very concerned about the financial implications of her desires. I don't have the means to support what she supposedly wants and she certainly doesn't make enough in her job either. Needless to say, I was taken aback by her comments. She had never really done anything like this in the past and had even communicated that my current town and home was starting to feel like home to her. She apologized, kinda, the next day and communicated that she had a change of heart after speaking to a mentor of hers. She says that she's willing to marry me regardless of the fact that she likely won't be able to have all these things she desires. I am afraid that she may just be saying this out of desperation to be married and that we run into these same problems after we're married. I love her but I am terribly afraid of making a bad decision here. I can't unhear the things that she has said and I just don't know how to trust that her change of heart is really genuine. Any thoughts on how to navigate this? Thanks. It sounds like the honesty leaked through the facade in that moment, and now she's backtracking after seeing your response. It doesn't seem like this is a compatible person for you, and I'd cut it off before you are saddled with a legal obligation to her. You are in your prime in the sexual and dating marketplace. You own your own home and are doing well financially. There are plenty of women out there, more compatible with you, that you can build a better relationship with. Sometimes people just aren't compatible, man. When you're married she'll try to force you to sell your house so you guys can overpay for a place in the city. If you think that's a deal breaker, 
then you should end it ASAP because that's only the tip of the iceberg, most likely. I'm sorry. Marry you regardless of your financial situation. It sounds like she's settling for someone she considers beneath her. Think about that. Woof. Friend. I'm sorry. What she told you was a plan she'd thought out. If he does X, he will be good enough. She's formulated this for a while. It's something she's stewed on while you've spent time together. A single conversation with a friend does not change how she fundamentally feels. 28M, made weird threesome comment to me, 25F, over text. Not sure if I should see him still. I was chatting with a guy from Hinge for a few weeks. I was out of town so we couldn't make plans. Our conversations were fun and interesting. It seemed like we had some things in common. I was really excited to meet him. I am back in town and we were talking about getting together soon. We were also talking about my recent trip, a music festival. We talked about we both dabble in party favors here and there for festivals or special events. He then out of nowhere said, I have a friend who's bi. I would be so down for a threesome. I took a while to respond and he said I am sorry if that was inappropriate and ended up saying, I'm not interested in a threesome and I'm not interested in hanging out anymore. Hope you find your threesome. He sent a million messages saying he was sorry and he shouldn't have said that. Things like, the conversation was just flowing and I was curious, I'm sorry. Etc. He tried to call me to apologize too. He wants to still meet up blah blah blah. I'm okay with a casual relationship, but expecting sex, especially a threesome, when you haven't met someone yet makes me uncomfortable. I don't like feeling pressured or expected to be sexual with someone right off the bat. So my cue is, is it possible he just said something stupid and could still be a cool guy? Or is a guy who would bring up a threesome like that a weirdo no matter what? I am leaning toward the latter, but not sure if I'm overreacting. Edit. I'm not going to see him. He was low-key gaslighting me into thinking I'm crazy for being offended. Thanks for your input. If it were me I wouldn't see him. If I saw him, I'd keep my expectations low. Yeah asking for a threesome when you haven't even hooked up yet is kinda wild. It looks like the party favors are affecting his brain. He's not a cool guy because that's a really giant leap from vibing in a convo to, hey, wanna have sex with two people? Lol. You're not overreacting and did the right thing. You aren't overreacting. Who says that to someone they barely know? As you said yourself, you've only been talking a few weeks. Yeah. Number. Glad you found out early. Even if it was a stupid offhand comment, I wouldn't be able to get over the ick of him even saying. 30 male 25 female do we break up over kids? To start. This is not a post to convince me to have kids. So don't even bother my partner and I met agreeing we aren't necessarily looking for something serious. It turned more serious than we expected. I knew from the beginning he wanted kids. He knew I didn't. It didn't matter at the time because it was mostly supposed to be a fling. Well now I'm getting my tubes removed in December. Consult done. Insurance approval. Surgery scheduled. I love him so much, and I don't want to break up. But it feels like that's what he deserves. Don't waste more time on me when ultimately we have no future. I'm not going to ask him to give up his dream of a family for me. I know how bad he wants to be a dad. And I can't live with myself taking that from him. There is one thing I haven't told him. IVF is an option. I would have a higher success rate than the average person taking it because I still have my fertility. The swimmers just don't have anywhere to swim. But I almost don't want to tell him. I don't want to give him hope, because I know I won't ever want that. I just feel like he deserves to find someone to give him his life. He thinks he loves me enough to give it up. And he thinks he's old and decrepit and no one will want him because he's 30. I know just how bad he wants a baby. He'll end up with pent up regret and it'll blow up in 5, 10, 50 years. So why not just rip the bandaid now? Let him go look for what he wants. LMAO 30 isn't even half of your life in no world as 30 old and decrepit face with rolling eyes. You don't want kids, he does it's a paradox. Let him go find someone that doesn't want kids and live happily. He'll find someone who wants a family. You'll both be glad you didn't waste any more precious years with someone who wanted the exact opposite goals. Him saying how he's 30 and no one wants him makes me think that he's only with you because he doesn't want to be single. Let him go. You don't want to deal with this years down the line if he gets bitter about not having kids. You need to have a serious talk with him. He will be fertile for the rest of his life. If he wants kids so much, he can leave at any time. If he stays with you, then he needs to acknowledge that children are not in the future. 
When you say that he wants kids, what does that mean? Is he super passionate about having children? Or is he going along with what he thinks adult life is supposed to be like?